Good morning and welcome to BOTB HQ in Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, the presenter here at BOTB, where we're here this morning to judge our latest Super Drives competition, which ran from the 9th of March to the 5th of April 2020 for a supercar thrill, an amazing prize. And just before I hand over to Alex, obviously with the situation as it is, we're all staying safe. Alex is at home and so is uh, our judges. So we're gonna be using a video conference call to remote them all in together and they'll be performing exactly the same duties as if they were here in the office. I'm now gonna pass over to Alex from Onside Law who will oversee the proceedings this morning. Thank you, Christian. I'm Alex Evans from Onside Law and I'll be overseeing the process of judging this morning. I can confirm that all the competition data has been sent to the auditors, Wilkins Kennedy. I'm now going to ask the judges to introduce themselves. First up, Matt Cannon. Good morning. My name is Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee and active footballer. Thanks, Matt. If you could now use the secure link provided and share your screen. If you could now select where you think the centre of the ball should be and click the submit button only once. Thanks, Matt. Please now talk us through your decision. Yes, two players in shot, uh, and I believe uh, the, the guy in uh, yellow behind it will be a, either a linesman or a referee, um, possibly a linesman since he's quite close to the stand. Uh, the two players in shot, uh, the player in blue is, is quite relaxed, and I think he's looking sort of straight up um, from a sort of square from his forehead. Um, and I've taken the other player in white and red behind, and I think he's looking at the ball sort of through the left-hand side of the player, um, and I've cross-referenced their eye lines and I've put the centre of the ball where my white cross is. You can now click confirm and we'll come back to you for the panel decision at the end. Next, it's Alain Goma. Good morning, my name is Alain Goma. I'm an ex-professional footballer, having played for Paris Saint-Germain, Newcastle and Fulham. Please now justify your position. Yeah, so we got uh, two players uh, challenging for the ball. Um, I think we got the, the linesman on the side here. So I think it's a ball along the line uh, coming from, I, th I believe, a player in blue is a, is a uh, attacking player. Playing wide is defending the ball. Um, I think the ball is coming straight out. The player in blue is coming from, you know, uh, relatively high up. Uh, looking at his body shape, um, it looks like he's going to control the ball. He looks quite focused uh, when you look at his, at his face. And um, it looks like he's opening his arm. So I think he's going to chest it and, and control it. Um, and the, you know, the, the play in white is a bit in the background. So I think the play in blue has a bit of time uh, you know, to, to control it and, and, and play it. So I believe he's looking in this direction. Uh, and the player at the back, uh, you know, uh, bearing in mind is, is a bit slightly backwards. Um, I think he's looking, you know, uh, slightly on, on his left hand side in this direction. And uh, yeah, so using, you know, both eye lines, uh, I decided decide the center of the ball was there where I put my cross. Next, it's Kieran Fitzgibbon. Hi, my name is Kieran Fitzgibbon. I'm an ex footballer and now a referee. Please now justify your position. Now we've got two players in shot here. I think the player in blue is going to reach the ball first. And it's difficult to know from his body language whether he's going forwards or going backwards. He seems to be not moving particularly fast in either direction. So I think along these walks of the ball, which is why I think the ball's a little bit further away from him. I suspect that he may well be going to try and control this ball rather than head it. His face is looking at it. Not in a position where his head is like on both walls. So I think he may be looking for the ball from here. He's controlling the ball. I think the player in white is a little bit further away. He doesn't think he's going to reach the ball before the player in blue. So he's watching, getting closer to the player in blue. So I'm looking particularly at the player in blue, um, and that's why I placed my cross there based upon the eye lines of both players. Judges, please now come to a panel decision. For your information, the larger white cross is the calculated average of the three individual selections. Okay, guys, we're three of us in, in pretty much a line that we're just sort of spaced out a little bit. Um, if I just draw the lines, I took quite a lot from both players. Um, and the parameters is very narrow from, from both the players.
So looking at that, I mean, from my perspective, I thought he was looking at a, this player here in blue was looking slightly uh, narrower or not as steep as you, Alain. What, what do you think? Can, can you please uh, magnify his eye just to double check? Yeah. If I get rid of the lines for now, yeah. magnify his eye to see a bit better. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I thought he was looking a bit closer than, you know, than you, because I think you can see a bit of the, the white of the, you know, the bottom of the eye. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I just thought he was looking a bit, you know, steeper than, you know, both of you. Yeah. Uh, that's why I came closer, basically. Yeah, Kieran, what, what's your thoughts? Well, I, I found it a little bit more difficult, this one, because it, the player in blue, it's difficult to know exactly whether he's going forward, going backwards. He doesn't seem as though he's ready to play the ball. Um, but I wasn't quite sure what he was going to do. It doesn't look like he's going to head the ball. Um, yeah. So I, I actually found it quite difficult to put uh, a, a position on the ball. I thought it was a little bit further away from him and Alan's got it because of that, because I wasn't sure how he was going to play it. Um, I took the eyeliners from both players, but um, I have to be honest, I think I, any of those three would work for me because it's difficult to know how this player in blue is going to play the ball. Yeah. Um, any of you guys thought about how he was going to play it? Do you think he's going to head it or control it or what he's going to do? Yeah, uh, to my to my mind, I thought he was going to maybe control it. He looks very relaxed in his in his body, and I um, think maybe he you know, he's not being challenged as yet. The other players sort of coming in from behind. I mean, it, which if I took my, myself out, it goes in the middle of you two, and the same with Alan. It, it becomes if we take Alan out, it becomes in the middle of us two. So I mean. I'm of a mind to say that that Kieran, you're there's a voice of reason. If it, really you're in the middle of both Alan and I, and I'm I'm happy with that compromise. I, it's a very narrow channel of view. Um, what do you think, Alan? No, I think that you know the three of us, you know, uh, the three crosses, you know, could work. Uh, uh, I, the thing is, you know, the fact that the plane in white also is in the background, uh, you know, is difficult. It's difficult to judge, you know, where he's looking at, you know, really. Uh, so, uh, but I think I could see the ball in the, you know, in the three different places, basically. Yeah. I would agree with Alan. I could see the ball in any of those three different places. I don't have a, yeah. a strong feeling that any of those would be wrong. I'd, I'd have to say that any of those could be a possible position for the ball. That's right. I mean, if, you, if I put them over the top of each cross, they're, they're actually not that far apart. So are we happy to go with the average? I'm happy with that, yes. Yeah, I'm happy with that as well, Matt. Okay. I, I, I agree with you guys, yeah. If I, uh... oh, I think I'm going to move that a lot, tiny bit. How's that? Not quite. Yeah, looks good, yeah. Happy with that? Yeah. That looks good. Thanks, judges. If you're all happy with the selection, Matt, please can you click Submit? Thanks, judges. The selected coordinates are 2068-687. These coordinates will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition, and they will then inform best of the best. That concludes the judging process. Thank you.